after a decade of preparation and two years of photography, this unparalleled motion picture encompasses all the novel's tremendous scope, the chaos of war, the glittering pomp and spectacle of peace, with these great stars, Audrey Hepburn reaching the pinnacle of her career as Natasha, the glowing beauty who was torn between the conflicting loves of three men, Henry Fonda, entirely different than you've ever seen him as Pierre, the idealist who worshipped her. If I were not myself, but the handsomest, cleverest, best man in the world, and if I were free, I should not hesitate for one moment to ask on my knees for your hand and your love. Mel Ferrer, scoring a triumph of artistry as Andrea, the cynical officer who surrendered to her heart-touching innocence. Do you love me? Yes, yes. Vittorio Gassman as Anatole, the decadent playboy, who unleashed a guilty passion that almost destroyed her. You know I can't. Gorgeous Anita Ekberg, perfectly cast as the sensuous Halim, who made many men her slaves. These and a host of other stars reflecting the life of an incredible era. The luxurious country estates in the calm before the storm. The conquering hordes of Napoleon, poised for his greatest adventure. The gallant defenders of the motherland marching to victory. Their drunken rebels on the eve of battle toasting the glory in store. A dream shattered by the thunder of cannon and the bloody point of the bayonet as tens of thousands clash in mortal combat. The nightmare of crushing defeat. The terrifying panic of a city in flight. And through it shines the eternal light of a love story that will live through the ages. Now you will see it all. The overwhelming spectacle of Moscow in flames the death march through the white hell of Russian winter. History's most awesome panorama in the motion picture of the century. Yeah.